We're going to talk about Chark. In my opinion, I think Chark is the biggest problem in the alpha at, at this current stage. Uh, let's just quickly go through his abilities and then I'll start talking. Okay. So, throw an axe that deals 154. It's the exact same, right? Exact same as Smite 1. The only difference with Chark 1 right now is once it's out, we know the mind games. You can further the mind games by pressing 1 again and the axe will go away. The way that this can be interactable in lane, let's just say that these are lane minions. I'm going to be clearing. Instantly press 1 so my uh, my 2 doesn't get interrupted. You know, it is interesting. I don't think that'll ever be a thing outside of um, certain matchups where you don't necessarily want to go to the uh, axe that you're throwing, but most of the time, you will want to just travel to it anyway during our early game. I think it's more mid-game. When ganks are coming, you're able to mind game it a bit more. The two, actually the one important thing with the one, damage scaling, hybrid, 80% strength, 60% int. Make sure we remember that. Here, we see you do damage and you also gain fizz prot and magical prot for each enemy hit. If the axe is deployed from the one, you can dash to it and you deal physical damage through people that you're going through, okay? So, you see the front of me and maybe the middle of me. They took 77, right? 77 dash damage is what they took. Um, all of the damage from this scales with strength, but the important thing, the protections, sorry, scale with intelligence. So, want to do more damage, build strength. You want to be tankier and annoying, build int. Rain dance. You're three. Bang. There it is. You heal. You're healing yourself and it slows people around you. Also, it reduces attack speed. We're going to right click it. The attack speed slow does scale with level. Okay. So if you're up against a Bologna, there is an angle where you can max your three second maybe. The slow also scales. And as we can see, the heal per tick scales with intelligence too. Now, the alt. You go big, CC immune, slam down. A lot of damage. Knock up as well. Right? Silence as well. Forgot about that one. But you do gain damage mitigation as well. We'll right click it to see what the mit is. And at the start, at level 5, 50% damage mitigation. So everything you're taking is halved. Okay. So, it does physical damage. But if we look at the scaling, it's 100 strength scaling and 110 intelligence scaling. So there's a lot of hybrid opportunities for Chark and Smite 2. Um, and I think hybrid would be the way to do him, to be honest. So, I'm going to give you my favorite hybrid build. And once again, you have to take this, not really at like face value, like you have to take this uh, with the conditions of an alpha and like context, okay? The context is, this is fun, okay? This build, I don't necessarily think it's the most optimal build. The optimal build's probably full tank chalk. But the first thing I like getting is either Storm, what this is, it's a hybrid item with strength and health on it. It's a pretty good cookie cutter for most solo laners, and it's probably in every recommended build in the game. From this point on, I actually rush the Mushroom if I'm against a physical. So this gives me more protections and more health. And you'll notice I haven't even bought any intelligence or strength yet. And you're thinking, oh, I bought 25 strength. So I'm pretty much base Chark, my first two items. Uh, but at this point, against a physical god, you are unkillable. Like, you're massively unkillable. Nothing can happen to your lane. You could probably 2v1 if people come to your lane with these two items because no one's going to have super anti-heal yet. You're healing with your three. You have your ult. You have the mushroom as well. Pretty hard to die unless you super, super scrub. And then from this point, I go a bit off rails. I wouldn't remember. Once again, this isn't optimal, but I'm going to go Tekogaki first. Tekogaki, sorry. So... Every time you use an ability, you gain move speed and cooldown. So this is my cooldown. Shark cooldowns aren't pretty, you know, pretty long, but it also gives me a bit of move speed. And then what I do, because he is a hybrid, I get the intelligence version of this, right? Gemma focus. So these guys, pretty much the same item. This is a lot of intelligence though. Gemma focus is a lot of intelligence. So it stacks three times. So that's 90 intelligence <laughs> and 15% move speed stacked here with more strength and more move speed. And yes, they do stack, as you can see. All right. So I am very, very fast. One ability is 6% MS. Am I crazy? Yep. Every time you use an ability, 
get 6% move speed, as well as a stacking cooldown rate. So you can pretty much always be at max stacks. <clears throat> you do run out of mana though, unfortunately. And then from this point, I think you do need, you definitely need to blink. And then your last item as always, it's uh, functional, like flexible, you do whatever you want. If you're up against a lot of, uh, or two ADCs or something, you can grab this. This is uh, more cooldown rate and more defense. If you don't want any more cooldown rate, Silk and Mail Coat is good against crit people. You know, if you need sprint, grab the sprint item for your team. Uh, sprint, blink, plus mushroom. Your team fight's going to be pretty big. If they have too many beads, there's not enough CC in the game, to be honest, to warrant this outside of the support. If you want to be super tanky, grab the Neems. Uh, this is like Gauntlet of Thieves. I think this is one of the best items of the game. Um, and then, if you're struggling with sustain, just grab a Yogi's Necklace, to be honest. There's not many sustain options, like just with your mana regen. You could be super, super greedy, grab a Worldstone, so you're ulting a cooldown. You could also grab anything that builds from Oracle Staff. So Oracle Staff's really good mana sustain. Um, you know, anti heals there. More knockback. <laughs> Another active, right? So you come up and you can push someone away. Don't know why you'd want to do that as Char. Not gonna lie. But anything off Oracle stuff is pretty good. Soul Devourer is probably the one. Um, yeah, don't get this. You don't have enough in for this in this build. I just think that, you know, mana regen is something that this build lacks. You could get that. You could also grab Helm of Radiance to make you super tanky plus more int. If that doesn't do too well, remember this item. Key against mages. Bagu Um, I wouldn't go Necronomicon. I wouldn't get anything too crazy. Another one could be Shogun's double ADC. You could grab Eye of Providence if you want more. Uh, Binding could be broken, but it only procs on your ult, actually. Never mind. Swift. Not Swiftwing. I nearly called it Swiftwing. More Magic Prot. The way that uh, this works is... Just take a bunch of damage here. Taking a lot of damage. And then bang. It's all back. It's like Herc 3. It's like Old Bracer. So that could be even more annoying. And it's against mages too. I like getting this item actually against Kukul Khan. Um, as a tank, you can just walk through the ult. Um, and with a bit less stress. Like the ult gets pretty much halved. Anyway, that's a little bit of Chark. Uh, with the tech, make sure that you're ulting, and then you blink. I don't think anyone can, uh, get away from charcoal now. Like, you have to time it pretty, pretty well. Uh, this build is pretty much only solo. It's the only time I've played it. But, yeah. Zoomy Chark. I think it's fucking sick. You should try it out.